Tis is Caliban, and Tis is Gonzalo. Caliban, Gonzalo. In appearance, the only difference, as you can see, is the size of the gun. So does the size matter? <laughs> Let's find out. Serious? Yes, I am very serious. Apparently they are working on yet another Tier 8 Premium British Heavy Tank, uh, which is going to be uh, Heavy Tank number 3 in a very short amount of time, because not too long time ago we received the Charlemagne and then the Caliban from the loot boxes, from the Christmas loot boxes, and now working on Consolo as well, which seems to be quite an easy work, because <laughs> visually speaking the appearance of the tank is uh, already done, well was already done when they released Caliban, because uh, Appearance-wise, the only difference is the gun caliber. Yeah, the gameplay is going to be quite a bit different because it has a different gun, then the mobility is a bit different, view range as well, more about that in a second. So it is or it was kind of an easy work for Wargaming, now what is left to do is simply slide some sliders to balance up the vehicle. Now, where it ends up being, when, uh, how, if it ever sees the game, nobody knows yet because it has been kind of under the radar, but uh, we over here, we still have some information about this vehicle so let's have a look uh, how it compares to the Caliban and what are the main differences while you enjoy the OG Caliban's uh, gameplay action on the background. Now as we all know Caliban has uh, the auto reloading gun system with the two shells and massive 62 second reload time for the full magazine for both rounds or 38 seconds for the first round and 24 seconds for the second one if you want to deal massive 600 damage actually with the uh, AP round and I'm comparing it with the AP round because uh, the uh, Gonzalo's main type of ammunition is going to be AP as well. Uh, now, this is the biggest difference. Uh, while the Caliban has the auto reloading gun, the Gonzalo comes with a single shot, you know, the most standard, the most common gun in the game, with 440 alpha damage and 240 millimeters of penetration, which is, uh, you know, quite high for a heavy tank, for a tier 8 premium heavy tank. Usually those guys get around 220, 225, 230, 240 is uh, uh, quite 20, 22 ish uh, standard penetration I have to say. 14.38 uh, second reload time for 440 alpha damage, uh, 28 degrees of gun, um, you know, gun rotation speed, traverse speed, which is uh, 5 degrees faster than on Caliban, so more flexible. Uh, gun depression is the same very good minus 10 degrees and 12 degrees of gun elevation. Now this gun is going to be quite derpy guys because 4.1 second aiming time exactly the same with Caliban and accuracy dispersion at 100 meters 0.5. Now it is a bit better than on Caliban uh, with the 0.58 but 0.5 um, accuracy plus 4.1 second aiming time definitely makes this gun very 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 derpy. DPM 1836 still better than on Caliban by 300 and 30 uh, DPM points, but uh, you know, quite low still. It's uh, it's the alpha damage you can basically. Let's uh, put it that way. So here, this is the biggest difference. Still going to be massively derpy gun. I uh, I would say so, but a single shot, uh, faster firing gun, better DPM compared to the Caliban. And now survivability armor identical because the model is identical as you can guess right 1500 hit points 130 in the front of the hull 250 in the front of the turret when hull down this tank can actually bounce some things so you can work with that definitely uh, the second difference uh, or where those tanks differ is the mobility uh, weight is roughly the same but Gonzalo right now at least uh, in the uh, super test stage has 100 extra horsepower which gives it 21 power to weight ratio instead of 18.4 and uh, some extra top speed numbers as well 35 15 uh, compared to the 33 and 12. Uh, hull rotation speed is the same, uh, camo is the same and finally view range 10 meters better on Gonzalo for some odd reason even though tank is identical view range for some reason is better. Maybe taller commander or radio operator or whoever is going to do the spotting in this vehicle. 
inside the rank. Maybe a bit taller and sees a bit further away or, you know, better classes. Something like that has to be going on over here. So, Gonzalo, ladies and gentlemen, upcoming, most likely upcoming uh, tier 8 uh, bridges. Uh, premium tank, where, when, what happens to this vehicle, only time will tell. But now you can consider yourself informed at least that his vehicle is what they are working on or the super test the players are testing. So let me know what you think about his extremely unique vehicle in the comment section down below. While moving on to the next topic, ladies and gentlemen, would you like to know what you are going to get as a gift for the World of Tanks uh, 12th anniversary? World of Tanks is going to turn 12 years old very soon and uh, they already have the uh, gift tank ready or at least this is what the community is thinking about and uh, you know they are very very sure uh, thinking that uh, saying there is no need to even guess where this tank ends up being it is a Swedish uh, tier 3 light tank uh, it indeed ticks all the boxes Lago M38 and it looks like this uh, so it has some uh, fully done HD models as well and uh, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're going to get as a little gift uh, for the World of Tanks 12th anniversary or for maybe some of you, it is going to be a beautiful free garage slot what you can enjoy for a couple seconds uh, before selling this vehicle if you need garage slots and some extra credits. So this is what uh, many players have actually been doing. I like to keep those tanks and, uh, you know, am I going to play with them? Yeah, maybe one or two battles uh, just when they are first released because then the entire matchmaking is filled with uh, same tanks and, you know, it is a kind of a unique time to play World of Tanks. Uh, but is it going to have any use for you? Yes, it is going to be a premium tank, but, you know, it is a tier 3 premium tank, so it doesn't make you that many credits uh, anyway it is just a collector ish vehicle uh, kind of a special you know world of tanks 12th, uh, 12th anniversary I was here, I grabbed my vehicle and I'm happy, right? Something to collect, basically. Of course, if it even turns out to be a gift tank for the anniversary, but all the signs point towards that uh, direction at least. Let me know what you think about that. Another band wave happened. Uh, World of Tanks across the servers is trying to get rid of cheating, is trying to get rid of illegal mods, and uh, they at least say they have a control over it. They see which players are using it, who are, you know, the naughty, naughty boys, who are in the naughty list and uh, they say on the EU server today we have taken another step in this direction and placed a massive band wave across all servers uh, in this wave we have penalized 1893 accounts in the EU region 1437 of these accounts have received their first warning and 456 have been banned permanently well, at least this is what they say. We have absolutely no way to prove it. They do not uh, release the list of the band, uh, band players, you know. I, I don't know if uh, it is against the law or, you know, terms of service. Anyway, uh, this band wave will be followed by others in the future. Yes, they have done that. Uh, they have shared this type of article before as well. So be sure to visit the mod hub to find all the verified and newest mods for World of Tanks. If you are using any mods in the first place, I guess this is the place, uh, the safest place uh, to get all your mods from. Everything over there should be verified. All the mod packs and everything inside those mod packs, uh, I hope, uh, is verified and ready to go. So don't cheat. And to close off today's news video, I am uh, going to do that in kind of a similar way how I started it, uh, talking about uh, copy-based tanks, right? You know, the Gonzalo, Caliban, yes, the gameplay can be different, but the vehicle is identical. Uh, let's talk about uh, Object 252U Defenders uh, release method, and they are working on yet another one, apparently. You know, when they released Object 252U, aka Defender, there, there are two different tanks, Object 252U and Defender. Identical, absolutely identical, but the Defender comes with the Defender's name and uh, with a special style. That's it. That's the only difference. Identical vehicles, two different premium tanks. And if you have been following my channel, then you know that I have been keeping you up to date uh, with Object 259A, uh, upcoming tier 8 Soviet premium uh, heavy tank, which is absolutely simply redonkulous. I cannot wrap my head around how many of them do we need. We don't need. We actually simply don't need that uh, because we have 10 of them. We have 10 tier 8 premium Soviet heavy tanks in the game. And Object 259A, 259A, sorry 
apparently, according to the latest information, latest leaks, also has a version called Shock. I am absolutely shocked. I have nothing else to say, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not going to say anything else. I'll get you next time with something else. Stay beautiful. Bye.